Hi guys, welcome back to another one of my videos, and as you can see, today we are starting a whole different series. Don't you panic for you Leicester City fans out there watching my Leicester City career mode. I am going to be mixing between these two careers, because some one of my fans has actually said that they can't actually keep up with my Leicester City career, so I figured if I do this... And then I only post maybe like four Leicester City careers every week. And then maybe four of this one every week. Then hopefully uh, you should be able to catch up with at least one of them. So you can get really into one of them. I am into the second season now of the Leicester City career. That one's shaping up to be a nice season. As you can see, I'm starting this career with my favourite club in the whole wide world. AFC Bournemouth. You might have seen one of my previous videos where I'm sat in my bedroom with a massive Bournemouth flag on my wall. Yes, that's right. We are starting this career up today. I have started it up, and I have just gone and changed my team to my uh, starting 11. So there, as you can see there, I'll just show you in further detail. King up front, or probably the best player up front. Uh, Brooks can play CAM, so I'll put him in CAM. Dan Juma, uh, I'm, I'm currently converting into a left mid. I think it said that'll take about 11 weeks. So that, that should be pretty good. Lerma and Billing in central defensive midfield there. Stanislas on the right, looking pretty good. Uh, Stacey at right back. Cook, the captain in defence, along with Young Metham. Metham, sorry. Rico at left back. I could play Kelly there, just like I could play Rico Lem out on the right. But that is probably... Um, not the best choice at the moment because he's only 66 rated right now there's a few different other players you could have on the uh, bench and on the pitch you could make the argument for smith to play instead of stacy but personally i do prefer stacy um as you can see i've got a nice little mix here simpson kelly i mean center back left back right mid center mid striker another center mid and uh goalkeeper there so it's pretty good as you can see there begovic and goal we might look to strengthen in the goalkeeping department but 75 rating for the championship isn't the worst so hopefully for you guys you'll enjoy watching some championship career mode i will just go and show you the calendar that we've got um for this season as you can see in our friendlies we've got uh sent aviaves or something uh, then we've got rangers and palmer as well in our group but we've got bristol cardiff huddersfield with a rochdale game there and then blackburn nottingham forest and stoke in there as well and then we'll go to the run-in skip a few to may so we've got swansea and birmingham to finish things off i just need to do something quickly guys so i'll literally be one second you ready okay so maybe a little bit more than one second but i'm sorry guys just had to do that in case you could hear it in the background because it was really getting on my nerves. It was the uh, washing machine after all. So I've got to go ahead and check these notifications. Uh, yeah, Rio Ave FC, as you can see there, Youth Academy, which I'm really excited. Hopefully we can have someone that's in the 60s to um, start with. So I'm going to go ahead and check that. Ooh, whoa, I've only got three. This goalkeeper here, Tank. They're both from Slovenia, that's a coincidence. And this one's from Austria, who's looking pretty good. Ed Air. Uh, I, w I waited until the new update to do this career mode, because I was going to start one with Bournemouth, but then they didn't have the sponsor and they didn't have the third kit. So I've waited until the... Um, uh, until now, uh, until after the um, update. I think the update happened there, like, half a month ago anyway, but... I started until now, and I was waiting until the Leicester City career ended to start this one, because I'm really, really excited about this one. So before um, I let you guys uh, in on who I'm going to try and sign, I haven't actually got anyone in the shortlist. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm just going to put everyone in the shortlist, and then I'll come back and show you guys in just one minute. Alright guys, so we're back, and we have... In, uh, shortlisted some guys in the transfer hub so we're gonna go ahead and check these guys out obviously they're, they're all youngsters and their overall hasn't come back to us yet but i've searched up online and they all look pretty decent all of these 
youngsters. So I think there's either nine or twelve days on each of their scout reports uh, to come back. Sorry, I don't want to do that. Uh, so we are going to go and probably simulate till the end of the preseason. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do this because that'll be twelve days. I don't really want to like vis simulate any of these. Uh, friendly so i'm gonna go ahead and just try and go as fast as i can through this i know the training days and stuff i should probably play them and i have in the leicester city career mode second season that i've just started now we lost 2-1 there as you can see disappointing um we also lost 2-1 there against rangers which is also disappointing how about the last game probably can't go through even if we win here i mean we do get the 2-1 win but we probably are knocked out we are knocked out um so Oh, we have got all the scout reports back now. Tournament prize money. Mm, yeah, one million. It's not great, is it? Could have got a bit more. But, I mean, interesting dodo. Sugar. I don't I don't want them to nick my players, to be fair. Uh, we are going to go and go to it. So, I, in my Leicester City career mode, I did play all of the uh, training sessions that I can uh, in the pre-season of the second season there. So, that actually is looking pretty good. Um. Uh, and I'm getting loads of A's now. This kid's looking good, but he's recently joined the club. I might be able to loan him out. This kid's also looking pretty good. Um, Kral's looking decent. Dodo is all right as well. Depends where we need to strengthen, really. I'm looking at the places we need to strengthen most. As you can see there, uh, not really many places we need to strengthen. In particular, maybe right mid could do with a bit of a boost maybe also center back because cup getting old so we're going to see if any of them are right mids or center backs uh left mid can he play right mid no he can't set there's two center backs here kuase is looking good he's probably the one that i'll go after if i go after either of them uh oh, he's recently just joined and charisma oh, i can get charisma at least uh can doku play right why why have they only only just joined that's so annoying i mean i could get ryan kent he's looking like a decent talent marcus antonio also i'm looking at even though i don't really need a center mid graven birch all right so there's a few players that i'm going to go in for first of all right now i'm going to go and try and loan this kid okay fair enough Oh, I should have put the thing on loose, but it's a bit of a challenge if you put it on this. I might get him in, the, be able to get him in the January transfer window. Uh, Claude Maurice. I don't know whether I can really get him. I don't really want Dan Juma. Grunewald's a very good player. Um, all these youngsters has high potential. If you're wondering why I've got them on here, actually. Um, could I approach the loan, Kral? No. If I can approach the loan, any of them, I'm gonna try. And loan some of them. They don't want to loan him. I want to loan him. Oh, they're, they're interested in loaning this guy out, actually. So we're going to try going for Mendes. Uh, we'll see if we can get Mendes on a loan to buy. We're going to go just the one year loan for now. Okay, fair enough. This is looking pretty decent. I don't mind pl playing only on 1,000. He's only on about 2,000 wage, which is good. Uh, what what do I want for the loan to buy? Should we go... 6 mil? 6 mil looking alright? Or is that too much? Should I go 5 mil to start with? 4 mil. 4 mil to start with. Right, 5, 7, 8 there. They're looking for... I'll, I'll I'll put five I'll put five on the board. I don't want to go too over the top. Uh, we'll go with that. Five thirty, I mean five point three. So we've just got to try and. Oh, it's whether he um wants to uh come to the club now. Really, Nuno Mendes. So we're gonna go. Should we see if we're loaning Kuasi. We're gonna try and loan in Kuasi here. Looking. Looking good. We've got. Well, I think with a club like Bournemouth, we've got to try and loan in some players. I am going to do another loan to buy because they are looking pretty good. Yeah, that sounds practical. Uh, 
Yeah, we'll just do a one year for now. And we'll also go... He's on quite high wages, but I'll still take the 60-40 split. The price we've set is 5.8. We're going to try and get him for 5. We'll see if 5 can work. Well, we'll go 5.3 again with him. Uh, I probably could have got it lower, but I don't really want to waste you guys' time. So we've got two loan targets that we might be able to get, both of which are 18 years old. Uh, Centre-back and left wing-back, both looking pretty decent. Charisma, I might actually go in for a proper buy, but he, he's actually from the same club, to be fair. Or Graven Birch, I might go in for an actual buy. <sighs> They're all looking pretty good, you know. Yusuf, probably the weakest of the bunch. I might just go in for a straight deal for Kral, you know. 10 mil. Yeah, I'm actually going to go in for a deal for Krell, and I'm going to put 10 million on the board. I think we have got a budget of 29 million, so which is about 30 million, so that should be pretty good. I'm going to go and put 10 million on the board. I might accept this straight away. Uh, sell on cars of 19%. That's a bit weird. Remove sell on cars, and we'll up the uh, transfer fee to uh, 11 mil. Let's do that. That's a reasonable offer. That's fine. Spartak Moscow going to try and come in. Uh, and they're, they're meeting us halfway. So I think these are probably the three targets. I might try and loan in someone else if uh, one of the targets for the loan doesn't work out. Important is fine because I'll play him instead of Mephem probably to start with. Put him on a four-year deal. is looking nice. Yes, he wants that. Disregard the release cards for now. They're actually doing... Mm. Alright, we're going to go with that. That's fine. Take them on that wages. So we'll have to see whether these two want to come to the club. Um, six foot two, five foot nine. Centre back's decent at six foot two. Uh, so we've taken Kral under our wing. Uh, and we'll um, just simulate a few more days to see whether some other players want to come to the club. Loan declined, of course, right here. I can't really do that anymore. Okay, they're both declined. Right, that's that's looking good, you know. Um, why would they want to come to a worse club, to be fair, than where they were already at? So we are going to go in for a couple of other ones. Uh, Charisma, we're going to try and get on loan. No. Graven Birch, don't want to loan him. Antonio, don't want to loan him. Kent, don't want to loan him. Doku, don't want to loan him. Right, this is looking good. Uh, Dodu. Blooming it. Oh, Yusuf. They don't really want to loan any of these out, to be fair. Uh, if we can in a week, we'll try and go in for them again with just a normal loan without a loan to buy. Um, but I'm not sure whether that will really be good. We... We are actually just going to go in for a normal deal. Uh, I'd probably rather get Kuasi just on a normal deal, to be honest. We're going to wait another week, see if them uh, offers can come back up onto the uh, on, onto the table. And we're going to just simulate some of these. I know it's a bit of a bummer always getting Ds, but, you know... I, d I don't want to drag it out for you guys. Uh, I should probably film it off camera, to be honest with you but so as you can see there top of the championship that's where we're aiming to be come the end of the season really um i'm excited for the future of david brooks and rika lem stacy as well some some of these decent players young are young as well so they're looking pretty nice uh are there any other targets we're looking to go in for i think kral's looking all right uh should we go and make a b team we're gonna go and make a b team real quick uh, I think I'm going to try and fit this all into one episode, if I'm being honest, for you guys. Because I really don't want to just, like, drag it out. Um, 
because I know my cousin made it into two episodes, which um, can probably get a bit. It's like what well, if you watch the first episode, you're not really probably going to go and watch the second episode. If I'm being honest with you, but all to their own. Hmm. Billing can't play up there. Uh, Billing can cook play up there. I will take that, I guess. Gosling on there as well. And then Lerma swaps with... Ooh. Kral, yeah, there, Kral. Simpson on the pitch for Mepham and Cook can come off and on will come. Ooh, there's not really many great options, actually. I've got to be honest with you. Cook might have to stay on there. Rico will swap with Kelly. Smith will come on for Stacy. I'm going to change the formation just to a 4-4-2 flat. Because that, that's probably going to be where I'm going to get the best out of these players. Uh, ooh. Yeah, alright. This is actually where I am going to get the best out of my players. Because Kral can play centre-back, as you can see there. Yeah, Gosling's fine being the captain of the B team there. I would like to take Dan Juma off, and I am going to do that for... Tell you what, I will go and buy another left mid from one of them. From one of their players on my transfer hub. So I'm hoping you guys are going to get into this episode and this uh, career as as longer and as longer as it does go on, because I don't really want you to get bored. And if you if you're not enjoying the Leicester City career, come and join this Bournemouth career because it, uh, I'm hoping you're going to enjoy this one just as much as my other one. Um, I need another. Can he play? Anyone can. Can anyone play left mid? Claude Maurice can play left mid. Okay. Okay, we are going to go in for Claude Maurice. We're going to offer 12 mil, which is the bottom one there. Uh, and then that means... So... What's his name? Dan Juma can play on my B team. Oh, no. But Dan Juma will stay on. Claude Maurice might play on my B team. Uh, we're going to go straight in for the 12 million. Which is the uh, base that they put. Hmm. Let's discuss alternative options. Uh, counter. Remove exchange player. I'll see if there's another player they want. If they want, if they're looking at midfielders, I'd be interested in letting. There's not really many I'd be interested in letting go, really. Let's just let's just go straight up for the. Um, 12.7 mil there. Let's just go for it. Alright, we have a deal. That's fine. 12.7 mil. We've not got much money left after this deal. But hopefully... Um, it'll be enough to get another signing across the line. If we look to do that. But these two are probably going to be my only two signings. We are going to give him an important... Good, that's what he was hoping for. He's looking at a four-year deal. That is fine by me. Oh, is it so? so it's going to be one of these controlling um, clients, is it? Where they, they they talk to me rather than me talking to them. Uh, Hundred thousand if he scores five goals. Signing bonus is all right. Fifteen thousand wage budget. That's all right. That's that's that. I don't mind that at all. Have um, their mothers come back yet? Yeah, well, all right. Calm down. Um, so we're going to go on to the default. No, because Dan Juma can stay on my default. Uh, but then Dan Juma will come off of my B team. Um, and on will come... Claude Maurice. So we made the two signings. Kral and Claude Maurice, who are both on my... B team, as you can see there. Um, looking to play my B team in a few games this season. 
gonna try and get their action uh their their match match action up a little bit uh, i will be playing on world class and four minutes as i was on my leicester city career i might um if it's a bit too easy in the prim in the uh, championship i might go put it up to legendary but i'll see that'll probably be like halfway through the season if we're like top by about 15 points or whatever four million i'm gonna go ahead and reject that because even though steve cook he has a release cause as well even though steve cook is only 75 rating i don't really have much of a better center back to be fair uh lots of bournemouth players did leave them in the january transfer window um simulate them I, I should probably play them off camera. I might do it at the start of next episode and stuff. But we are going to simulate up to the first day of the season. Just carrying on like this. It's looking alright. They haven't got much sharpness, my players, sorry. Um, but they're not looking too shabby. So next episode in this career mode. Uh, so what will probably happen is I'll do this episode, obviously, tonight. Then either t tonight or tomorrow I'll do my Leicester City career mode. Uh, and then hopefully there'll be another episode of this out either tomorrow or the day after. But in the next episode of this we'll be playing Bristol City and Cardiff City uh, to get our uh, championship season underway. Hopefully for you guys we can get a uh, two wins there. But you never know. The championship is full of it. Um, surprises. Lewis Cook... Leeds United coming back in for a deal with Lewis Cook. Seriously. I mean, I'm going to reject it. 75 overall, 23 rating. Uh, Lewis Cook was originally at Leeds United as well, by the way. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and reject that because I don't really... He's kind of a decent... One of the best players on my team, actually. Uh, I don't intend on letting Joshua King go, even though in real life it looked like he might go to the likes of Manchester United or West Ham or Spurs or someone like that even though it did look like he might go I'm not I have no intention of letting him go because I feel like 77 rated in the championship is just enough to tear every little team apart pretty much Chris Meffham's not going anywhere either I know it might seem like I'm just gonna reject every offer but really the all these players have a part to play in Bournemouth's philosophy in Bournemouth's and my plans in this um, career mode. They all have something to play. I might, I might like send some players out on loan, but I don't really want to let any players go because, uh, like Callum Wilson and Ryan Fraser, they've already gone in the summer. Uh, also, a few other players, I think, like Simon Francis retired. I think um, Rio Avie, who we literally played in the um, pre uh, in the uh, preseason friendly. Want to sign him on a two-year loan deal, which I'm. Uh, Mark Travers is a good player, so I don't think he's going anywhere. Like he kept a clean sheet against Spurs last year in real life, so. I mean, I don't really know how highly I'm rating Spurs, but you know, I'm gonna go and see if I can actually go in for another offer for them. People now, I've got seven mil left. I just had to check that, and it looks like. I can't actually go in for a deal for them. Uh, so I might go in for Mendes. He can play on the left as well. And I might change his position. So I am going to go in for... Uh, approach to loan. We're going to go in loan, but we're not going to have the loan to buy. Because that's what might have just stopped them from coming to the club. So we're going to go in for the loan. Basic terms... We're just going to go for the one-year loan deal. Um, I remember in like FIFA 18 and FIFA 19, that was always my manager face because you didn't have manager customization. I'll take that wage split as well. Looking pretty uh, decent. So, Mendes, we'll have to see whether he wants to join the club. I'm really not sure whether he will because he, he rejected the early one. So maybe it's just the club that he doesn't want to join. Um, but I mean he still gets the same wage and everything it's just different club I guess so hopefully he will accept that oh, loan declined of course and we do get an offer for Dan Gosling which I'm going to reject 2 million 
I know it seems like a lot in the championship and stuff like that, but it's really not for a player that's 73 rating and that can easily get into my B team, and he's on my B team. It's not actually a lot if you think about it. Um, Dominic Solanke is telling me against game against Bristol City. But that is, I think, where we're going to end the episode, guys. So I hope you guys have enjoyed watching it today. Uh, I know it might have been a bit boring for you, but really, hopefully it wasn't that bad for you. You squad monthly report. And that, and that does actually remind me I'm going to go ahead and appoint some scouts just give me a minute I'm just going to put development plan on each of these uh, sorry I'm, I'm dragging it out a bit but if you want to end the episode now then please feel free to do that because it's not the nothing nothing's really doing much i guess it's not really like i'm not doing anything else really in this episode uh, i do want to get that guy's weak foot up so i'm going to make him a playmaker there He's passing these to get up a little bit more as well. Edda. Left mid, left wing, whatever you want to call him. His pace is looking pretty decent. Wide winger gets his dribbling up. But I do want... Uh, as a winger, I do probably want his shooting up a little bit. But he's five-star weak foot anyway. Defensive work rate low. Playmaker. Skill moves gets up a little bit. So I'm going to do that. And we're going to get his passing up to near perfect. He's 15 years old, so I can't actually um, sign him yet. So we are, are going to go and appoint a scout. As you can see, Watford winning in their first game of the season on the Friday night. They could be one of the teams to beat, if I'm being honest. I'm going to go and hire... Oh, well, set up a fire. There's one here. He's only three-star, three-star, which isn't particularly great. Three months, we are going to get some English players. Uh, we'll also hire a five star, four star. Do I want to do that? I do want to do that actually. And I think I'm like, I think that leaves me with not many, not much money. Uh, we're going to go and sign some players from the United States. Let's go with it. United States, we're going to go and that'll be it. England and United States are where we're getting our players from our youngsters players this season so that's all that's it from me today this episode guys if you've enjoyed it go down and hit the like button uh, and smash that subscribe button as well uh, comment down below any suggestions you have for this career mode if there's any signings you'd like to see me make do go down and put it in the comment section below but until next time guys I've been Hazard the Junior Cherry, and until next time, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.